Oh my god, there's snow! Museum was actually built in 1952 using glass imported from England that has absolutely no color in the glass which is perfect for viewing the pearls in just pure sunlight. The building was designed to receive no direct sunlight so you can grade the pearls for optimal beauty. The building was also built without electrical lighting, so you can view the pearls in 100% pure sunlight. Good morning everybody. We are at the Kobe Pearl Museum today, so we're going to get to see all the beautiful pearls and learn so much about them. Actually 80% of the pearls in Japan come from here in Kobe, so let's learn. On January 1st, 1868, Kobe port was finally opened up to the Western world. The merchants from overseas were finally allowed to come and buy, sell and trade in Japan. kilograms of pearls that they harvest per year, only about 1% of those can actually be the blue ones, which are the super rare and exclusive. So pretty. So there is actually a difference between the top necklace and the bottom necklace. The bottom one is much better quality. So the top necklace didn't go through the toning process, but the bottom one did. The top one is natural. I don't know if you can tell, the bottom one is much more pink than the top one. Museum and at Kitamura Pearls. I learned so much about pearls just now. I honestly, I had no idea about 70% of the world's pearls come from Kobe. Isn't that just amazing? This town, I don't know, it needs to be on the map more. It's, it's such a hidden gem. This place is amazing. Look at this European influence. Yeah. It's so European. It's so strange to see this like in Japan. I think now we're gonna go to lunch. Hotel Kobe and oh my goodness that food there was amazing it's an absolute highlight the food in Kobe like it's, it's not not just Kobe beef like the food is just so superb the service everything was just absolutely amazing we're gonna head to two pearl companies now and we're gonna check them out and learn some more about pearls and have a look It's called like the nucleus, so it's kind of like a little bead that's inserted into the oyster and then that makes the coating around it. 
which forms like the round kind of one. So you're just kind of helping it along. And then this one is like ke keishi, which is just natural. There's no nothing inserted into the oyster, nothing. That's just a 100% completely natural pearl. But like, look at all the different colors. How crazy! Like these are all just naturally formed different colors. I had no idea pearls had so many different colors, like black, silver, blue, white. It's insane. So the nucleus that this company gets is actually a shell from Mississippi that they cut up and make into this round kind of nucleus that they put inside the oyster, which is kind of cool because I always had the impression that they were like artificial, but the fact that the nucleus are, you know, made by nature, it's kind of not so bad, I think. It's just a coat on a shell, inside a shell, from a shell. <laughs> so not only can you eat oysters and get pearls from oysters, yeah. but you can use their shells to make same, stuff as well. Kind. That is so cool. I had no idea. So that's just like, see the corner, like how it's black? So it actually kind of depends on the shell. Like this shell, see how it's like white and gold? Mm -hmm. It makes the gold and white pearls. And it's different. This one's from Australia and this one... This one from the... Uh, Tahiti. Tahiti. Tahitian pearls. Tahitian pearls. Ah. These are called mabe pearls. And what they do is they create like a plastic kind of shape. Like you can make a heart shape or a drop shape. And they just kind of put it like to the top here. And then it just like coats half of it. And then they can remove that half later. But to get the full round ones, they have to like put the round ones all the way into the oyster and then it creates the even round kind of shape. See, these ones, they, they did put the nucleus inside of the oyster, but you can't always guarantee that it's going to be perfectly round. So these ones are called Baroque and they, they, they are formed on a nucleus, but they're kind of like not so pretty. <laughs> the hole in the pearls to make a necklace they actually put Listerine inside of that hole to stop like the smell and the dust and everything like that how crazy you know, I don't know just such a household product is used in the process of making pearl necklaces Wow, they gifted us with a pearl. It's a little wine charm. That is amazing. Thank you so much, Andy Mueller. We're here at Mizuki Pearl in Kobe and their necklaces. They make between one to three thousand necklaces per year, but this particular kind where every single pearl has passed the top of their A grade, then they can only make less than 1,000 of these kind of necklaces per year. So they're really exclusive. They're about 5,000 US for the bigger one and 3,500 for the smaller one.
It's so cold up here. Oh my god, look at this. You can hear the wind. Oh my god. It's beautiful, but... walking up here and there were this, those little pools along the side well they and when it gets really really cold they actually take the ice from that and they store it in this little door over here so then when it's summer and it's really hot you can come in here and take a seat and then the cold air is gonna come out of here so it's kind of like keeping like it's a cool place to come and this is open and you can come in here in the summer and it's gonna be nice and cool to just sit and relax in but right now it's freezing check out that view it's lit It's a garden class. Oh! Where people can dine. I can't feel my hands. <laughs> oh my god. It's actually so, so cold. It's like one degree here. But it's beautiful though. Like a little bit of snow. The sky is so sparkly and lit, the observatory is brilliant, but I thought I was ready for the cold temperatures, but I can't, I literally cannot feel my fingers. It's one degree guys, one degree. My God, it is lit. <laughs> specifically for us and we each get to take one home. How gorgeous is this? 